Most engineers waste hours repeating the same load data again and again in StatPro. But there is a smart way and it's called reference load. See in every real world project, whether it's a warehouse, water tank or multi-story building, you deal with loads like dead load, live load, wind and sometimes even the seismic loads. But here is the problem. See, each of these loads often needs to be reused in multiple combinations and load cases. See, copy pasting load data again and again not only wastes time but also increases chances of error. What if you make a small mistake while entering the wind load again in a different load case or forget to include a member in one load combination. See, that's where reference load definition can save your project and your time. So let's understand what are reference loads. See, in Star Pro, reference loads act like reusable templates. They are defined ones but can be called multiple times in any load combinations or primary load cases. And the best part, they don't get analyzed individually, they simply serve as a building blocks. So let me give you one simple example. Imagine you are designing a G plus 2 residential building. For every floor, you apply dead load in that particular from slabs and walls, live load from the occupancy part, wind load based on the height. Now see, instead of entering these three loads again and again for each load combination, you just define the reference load cases like R1, R2, R3 in terms of dead, live and wind load respectively. Then you create the primary load cases like this, let's assume load case 1 with 1.5 R1 plus 1.5 R2. Load case to 1.2 R1 plus 1.2 R2 plus 1.2 R3. And in a similar manner, let's say load case 3 for 0.9 R1 and 1.5 R3. Now see, just drag and drop the reference loads. No need to input again. So let's see how this works in Stat Pro. So what you can do is just go to the loading tab in the analytical modeling workflow, open the load and definition window. Under this definition, select the reference load definitions and click on the add button. So in that next step, define load items in each reference loads. Let's say R1 dead load. So in that particular, you use self weight in Y direction, R2 live load, nodal or floor loads and R3 wind load, member or area loads depending on the direction. Include these reference loads in the primary load cases using the repeat load. The reference load feature. Now you can assign the combination factors like 1.5, 0.9 or whatever is required by your respective combinations as per the code criteria. Now let's take it further into the seismic definition. See, if you already define your dead load and live load as the reference load, you can directly use them in the seismic weight calculation as well. You just simply need to go to the seismic definition, reference load and pick the reference cases along the direction you want. See, without reference loads, you could have to retype all the seismic weights manually. One missing floor load or a wrongly assigned members could lead to an inaccurate base shear and fail design. So, reference load instead aren't just for organization. They are for accuracy, efficiency and safety. Use them wisely and you will avoid repetitive work and critical errors. Have you been using reference loads in your stat model or are you still typing every load manually? So comment below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe for more practical engineering tutorials like this one. And always remember, don't just learn software, learn concepts. I'll see you in the next video.